Hey guys, Apple event in September and no iPhones. No one more thing, no way attacks. Let's talk Apple Watch. iPhone was not just a phone when it was released in 2007 and Apple Watch is not just a watch, now it's even tracking our blood oxygen levels wherever we want, whenever we want, even when sleeping. That really transfers the quality how we track our health. I really believe that competition is good for customers and also for companies to step up their game. But now with Apple Watch Series 6, the game is not even close anymore, it's blowing the competition out of the water. But how could health tracking alone even help us if nobody cares about the planet and the environmental impact of products? E-waste creates all sorts of problems. And Joe has a really great video about that on his channel. I link it below and here's a little highlight. E-waste often changes hands many times going from recycler to recycler before eventually getting stripped down for parts and basic metals, often in foreign countries and often illegally. This underscores the problem with e-waste, the economic realities behind it and how do you and I do the right thing as intentioned as we might want to be when even the people who are saying they're doing the right thing are doing the wrong thing. How do we avoid becoming part of the problem? Because this problem is a problem. Joe's entire video regarding this topic is linked below. Check it out, it's a really great one. Considering the environmental impact of products when consuming just makes sense from a consumer point of view as well. And it really feels great that Apple seriously seems to care about the environment and is really doing something about it. It's actually quite a serious list Apple is providing here. How they're working with recycled materials and at the same time eliminating toxic elements from their products. Apple today is carbon neutral. And Apple is saying that they are switching their entire supply chain until 2030 to carbon neutral. Sounds like an Elon Musk plan to do, but they're dedicated and pretty serious about it. Sometimes it's not what companies make that counts, it's what they don't make. And according to analysis, the charging bricks shipped in the boxes are very often just shelved and never used by customers. With Apple Watch Series 6, Apple killed the charging brick and they're not shipping them anymore. With that move, Apple basically confirmed that with the upcoming iPhone, there will be no charging brick. But wait, before you panic, just relax, lean back and think for a second if you really need it. Even the charging bricks shipped with the box until now, they were not free. We paid for them. And now we have the freedom that they are not shipped anymore to choose what we really want and what we really need. At the end of the day, it's good for the planet and that's great for us. There's no second earth sitting around in our backyard waiting for us. There's no second planet where we can go to. And we certainly shouldn't behave like there's one. I think we owe it to ourselves to treat this planet with a little bit of respect. It helps us to maybe not win a Darwin Award anytime soon. Thanks guys for watching. Like, subscribe, have a great rest of the day and see you in the next one.